What if I want to create an image where this woman is holding this product, but I'm in no mood for writing complex prompts. That's too boring. Instead, I just want to upload these two images and then that's it. Hit the generate button and I start to get images and videos that look like these. Not just a single image or a video, but a lot of them together with a single click without any prompt at all. This all is possible because these days, one of the things that these AI tools have realized is that prompts is what can make things very scary for a beginner because a lot of times you just don't know what to write. So now it's all about presets. You just choose a preset or an existing workflow and then you get multiple images and videos. Just have a look at these very ordinary looking shots of these products. What if I wanna turn all of them into a cinematic video? It would take an awful lot of thinking just to come up with a prompt, but now just see with a single click, I can start to get cinematic videos that look something like this. I mean, isn't this absolutely amazing for a one-click job? Even when it comes to video production and photography, this is amazing. You can turn very ordinary looking headshots like these into cinematic videos. Okay, can't really do this manually. It would take so much time. Not only really looking short like this, with a single click, I can get a cinematic looking shot. Again, think about how long it would take you to describe those sun rays hitting the different parts of the body and the hair if you were to write a prompt. But this was achieved by a single click. And once you see this tool, you will definitely give it a thumbs up too. One of the coolest things about this tool is that with a single shot, you can get different perspectives. You don't again have to write any sort of prompts to describe the different types of close-up shots, no. Just upload your main photograph and you get different variations which can make your videos so dynamic. One of the things it can do, which was a big challenge up till now, was the 180 degree rotation shot. Now you can do this with a single click. Previously in Nano Banana also, you could really get descriptive but it would not give you a shot like this because this opens up so many possibilities. For example, if we have this shot, Rotate it 180 degrees, keep it realistic. This tool also allows you to further edit the results so we can make it something like this and then turn all this into a cinematic video with a single click again. So this is amazing. Even for real estate, it can clean up your rooms and for the first time we have something which doesn't change anything in the room when it does that. So you can see it's exactly the same room and with a single click we can do it, which can be great for people into Airbnb or any other commercial related stuff when it comes to real estate. For example, here you can change the lighting of the day while uh, keeping things consistent, you can also just furnish your room in any way that you want. So what is this tool? This tool is by the very popular all-in-one AI app called Leonardo AI and it's called Blueprint. It aims to take things from prompt to preset simply because this is the future as it makes things very effortless. It eliminates what we call as prompt-induced procrastination because everyone wants good results from AI but the bitter truth is that usually to get those results you need very structured and detailed prompts and that can sometimes be a turn-off. The best part is you can use this tool completely for free for a limited number of generations every day. I'll be showing you 20 different examples. The way it works is very simple. You choose the preset or the workflow that you like, you upload the reference photos and you get your results. That's it, only two clicks. But of course, there are more number of clicks before all this starts because you have to create your account. So let's see how to access this tool. The first thing you have to do is go over to leonardo.ai. The link is in the description as well as the link to download all the images that I'll be showing you in these examples is there in the description so that you can work along with me. When you see this page, make sure you hit this button that says get started. And on the left here, there will be an option which says create your free account. So you're gonna hit this option and then you do exactly that. Once you do create your free account, you will see this page and you can see these days blueprints is everywhere but in case you don't see it right here on the left menu you can see blueprints it's still in the beta stage it's extremely new the moment you click that you will first of all be able to see all the different presets that we have here we'll be seeing a lot of these in this video but before that on your free account on the right topmost corner you're going to see 150 those are your free 150 credits. I have more because I'm on the paid plan, which is also very affordable. I'll talk about the paid plan towards the end. But each of these edits that I'll be showing you, it'll roughly cost you around 30 credits. So even on a free account, you will be able to use it five times every day since those 150 free credits replenish every 24 hours. Now let's start off here with the first preset under the product and 
marketing category, which is going to be this preset called product lifestyle photo shoot. So what I'll do is for the first preset, I'll show you things in detail. I'll show you some extra options of modifying the images also. But after that, I'll just talk about the preset and directly show you the results just to save time. So let's get started. So anytime you open up a preset, you will get the preview picture that'll give you an idea of what the preset exactly does. You can also open this up and sometimes it's going to be more descriptive than this. So you'll be able to get some more idea. And then you just need to add either one image or in certain presets, two images or more than two images. So for this example, we have got these two images. So let's add both of these here. And then I'm going to hit next, enter the product image also. And you can see that it's going to cost me 30 credits right here. That's it. There's no need to write any prompt. You just hit generate and you start to get the results. Now, the first thing when I say that, that must have come to your mind is if it's going to do everything on its own, then what happens if I need to modify something in the photograph? So in this case, we'll, we can do that, but we'll just have to do it afterwards as you're going to see. So you can see we start to get some really nice looking results. So at one point of time, most of the presets are going to give you three different results. We'll also be able to turn them very easily into video. So let's say I like this particular result. You can also get a closer look by just clicking on it. You can zoom in to see everything. You see it's exactly the same product, the same woman. So the consistency is absolutely amazing. And you get so many different options. You can upscale it. You can turn it into a video. I'll not be talking about this thing. This is slightly more advanced. Maybe I'll cover it in the next video. So option that says use as guide. But this is the part I was talking about. So when you open this up, you also have the different models like Sea Dream and Nano Banana to further edit this image in any way that you want. So for instance, you just type in change her dress to black and then it's going to cost me a certain number of credits. But the point is that option is still there. But right now, if I was to go over to the library section in the menu that you had seen before, you will be able to see that your new image is also ready. So it's not like you just have to settle with what the preset gives you. You can also turn this into a video because remember, Leonardo AI is an all-in-one AI app, just like Hicksfield, FreePick, open art AI. So it's a competitor to all those different apps. So here also, for example, I can choose different video models. Like I can go in for, let's say something like Kling 2.1 Pro. Select the different things like the duration, the aspect ratio, and just write in a basic prompt, hit generate, and you're going to be able to turn these things into a video also. So here we needed to do things separately because this preset was about creating images, but there are certain presets which also will directly give a video as a result. In that case, you won't have to do this step separately. So let's start to see some other presets also. So remember, right now we have started off with the product and marketing category. And I'm doing that because most of my viewers are more interested in commercial product AI usage. So... One of the things that I really liked here was this product and scene. It was very, very easy to use. Again, that's it. You kind of get an idea of what you're going to get. This will be your product. So here you just need to upload one image. So I had used this particular image and this was the result. And I think that looked really, really amazing. Really like this at home product shoot also. So it gives you a shot with natural lighting, which can be great for a lot of e-commerce shoots. And in this particular case, I had used this product, this coffee beans bag, and this was the result that I had got. And you can see this looks amazing. And ultimately, I also turned it into a video very easily with a single click. The video model here was Kling 2.1. This preset can also be great for a lot of people because oftentimes you require a person holding a product like a model. So you already have that done for you. Just upload both the images of the model as well as the product. In this case, this was the example and this was the final result. I also really liked a very different preset, which was the brand mock-up. This slightly works in a different way. You first of all need to add in your logo. So let's do that here. So we have this brand called Smacking Burgers. So I've just uploaded it right here. And then sometimes now you will have to write things. So this is not really a prompt, but we're just telling them about the different kind of products where we want this logo to come. So let's say we can type in 
t-shirt, cap, and sweatshirt. So like your typical merchandise. So this can be great for people who are into e-commerce. And you can see we start to get different variations. So if I just open this up, you see sweatshirt, the cap, t-shirt. Then you can easily send this over to your designer. Now there are also two video presets and these were the ones that didn't actually work too well in the product and marketing category. There are some video presets in the other categories which worked really well. But let me show you the problem with both these. So if I open this, this looked really promising. This was this product spin video. And what I was hoping was that if I just upload a very ordinary looking shot of a product, it should just be able to do everything. Make it look good as well as add the spin. But that's not the case. It only adds the spin. So if I was to upload upload a very ordinary looking shot of this burger, it will not make it look good. It'll just make this bad looking burger spin. So you actually have to really edit the image first, maybe using Nano Banana or Sea Dream, and then it really does its job well. Once you have a good looking image, it adds in that spin, which looks really cinematic. So I went over to Nano Banana with that ordinary burger image. I just told Nano Banana that all the ingredients should be flying and it should look cinematic in a dark studio with a wooden surface. This was the image that I had got. I then feeded this image into this preset and this was the result that I got. And I was extremely happy with this result. But yes, in this particular case, it wasn't all automatic. There was also the product video preset, which looked very promising because this is something a lot of people need to do, create a quick video of the model with the product. But again, didn't really work that well. Because first of all, it only allows you to add one image. So how do you add both the model and the product? Well, the answer usually is you make a collage. So that's what I did. I put both the pictures into one photo, uploaded it here, and then it'll also ask you for a small text guideline as to what should the model be doing. So I just wrote that the model is just holding the product, that's all. And then I hit the generate button and this was the result that I got. You can see that it didn't really remove that existing design. So majority of their presets are in the photography category here. And let me just show you some of these because they give really flawless results with just a single click. One of the ones that I really liked was this magazine editorial portrait. And it's very simple. You upload an ordinary selfie or any sort of a portrait is going to give you a professional looking shot. So this was the original image and these were the shots. Absolutely amazing for a one click job. We really liked this also, this was the yellow smoke portrait video. Videos will usually cost you more. So for example, this is 122 credits. So if you're doing this on the free plan, just be aware about this because then you'll only be able to use it once per day. But in this particular case, this was the portrait and this was the final result. Another one that I really liked was the lifestyle portrait photo shoot. So again, you just upload the selfie here. This was the original shot and these were the results. Really like this black and white photo shoot. This can be great for photographers also. This was the original and I think this result looked really, really cinematic. This was a cinematic video portrait preset. This also did a fabulous job. You can see here, original, the result, absolutely amazing. Will take a long time if you were to write a prompt for this. Another one that can be great for video production, especially the multi-view perspective change, because oftentimes, let's say if two people are talking, you want your videos to be dynamic, switch between both the people, maybe give an aerial view, a wide angle view, and all this could be very difficult if you were to generate with prompts. It'll just take too much time and effort, and the results used to be really unreliable. But here, I just uploaded this image, and I had all these shots ready with me with a single click. And the consistency was also amazing. Talking about angle change, like I had mentioned in the intro video, one of the toughest things was the 180 degree rotation shot. Now with this preset right here, point of view change, you can do that very easily. So this is similar to the last preset is just that it's going to give you one result, but it's extremely potent. That means it really follows whatever you type here. But you do have to write in something. So let me show you here. So for example, I want the view from behind. So I can just upload this photograph, hit next and just say from behind. No need to type in and describe what an 80, 180 degree shift looks like. And even when you used to do that, Nano Banano Sea Dream still failed most of the time. So it would just not produce that. It was one of the most common challenges with Nano Banana, but just see how easy this is going to be. 
And you can see that these results look really, really amazing. And that's exactly what I had done when I had shown you the same thing in the intro. Because you can edit these images further, I had just written right here using Nano Banana, add a cavalry soldiers, and the enemy is charging towards this man. And I got an image like this. Use both these as the starting and the ending frames. And because it's a 180 degree change, it just looks really, really cinematic. So, so tools like these just open up a lot of possibilities. And now you can do all this with a great amount of ease. Let's also look at the real estate category. So if I go over here to spaces and interiors, yeah, right now they don't have too many presets here, but some of them can be really, really handy. For example, this, this preset called Furnish My Space, you just upload an empty room, and then in the text part, you can just type in whatever you wanna see. So for example, this was the original photograph of this empty room, and then in the text part, I had just written a Buddhist-themed meditation room, and this was the result I got. Then I had written something like a cafe, and this was the result I got. You can basically type in anything that you want and imagine a scene. It can be great for people who are into interior designing. Now the one that we were waiting for a long time for an AI to do properly without sacrificing consistency was to clean up messy rooms. So this particular preset does that. This was the example. You can see a really bad looking room, but just with a single click, I was able to get this image. And you can see if you look at them side by side, the room remains and the, all the elements, they remain exactly the same, which was not the case with earlier tools like even Nano Banana to some extent, it could not do this. And chat GPT and all used to just change things too much. You can also change the time of the day without sacrificing consistency. So you upload your image and in the text part, you're just gonna describe the exact time you want, the altered time, so maybe golden hours, night time, anything, but it just gives out fantastic results. So this was for golden hour in the evening, and you can see it kept everything consistent. If you are into art and illustration, a lot of different presets here also. You can take some existing styles from existing art pieces and make them completely your own for your own art. But since on this channel, I mainly deal with photorealistic stuff, right now I'm gonna skip uh, most of these. My idea right now was to just show you what Blueprints is and how it works. Let's also talk a bit about the pricing plans because you're going to realize this is extremely, extremely affordable if you were to even go in for a paid plan. Now, when it comes to the paid plans, Leonardo AI is definitely one of the cheapest and the most affordable, not just because of the amount that you see here, but because of one more reason. So you can see here, the most basic plan will only cost you $12 a month. You get almost, almost 9,000 credits here. That means if you were to talk about the blueprint edits that we were doing, that's roughly around 300 edits if you only talk about image edits and slightly lesser if you include the video edits also. Still, that's a huge amount for this price. But here's the best part, which is what a lot of Leonardo AI's competitors don't do, which is that even on this basic plan, you do have the option of purchasing the top-up credits or the tokens, because most of these other companies will not allow you to do this on the most basic plan. They will have this feature available only on the next tier. So that also can keep your cost extremely, extremely low. Now, one of the issues with Leonardo AI Blueprints is that since it's extremely new, it was just launched last week, we simply don't have too many presets right now. They are bound to come, but we will have to wait a bit because we are reliant on Leonardo. But what if you wanna create your own presets and have have a similar workflow. Well, then you have to go to Leonardo AI's competitor, which is FreePick AI, because they have a tool called Spaces, which was also released last week. Now, the difference is that Spaces allows you to create your own workflows, which are in the form of nodes. They connect the different prompts with images. You can share all this with your team. So you only do your work once initially when you create your workflow and then you can replace the images with a new image, it's gonna give you the same result. So it's like having your own preset or a workflow which you can use again and again. I do plan to cover spaces very, very soon, but in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and for more AI tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.